In this video with the Onking, I'm going to show you my desk setup and why I would recommend all of these things. This includes for Anki, medical school, or basically anyone using a computer. Hey everybody! This is going to be a very different video than what I'm usually going to do, and that's because I want to show you about my desk setup and why I think it matters and how this has helped me as I've been studying long hours on the computer. So this is kind of an interesting topic for me because I've had some serious problems with my wrists over the last couple years as I've been studying in medical school. Uh, if you don't know that, what it's like in medical school, I'm on my computer for 10 to 14 hours a day sometimes and I started having serious problems to the point where I was going to the doctor, I got an MRI, nerve scan, all sorts of things and I didn't do anything about my wrist problem for like six months before that because I noticed it was hurting. And I started using my left hand more, ended up having pain on that side too. And things didn't start getting better until I switched up my desk setup to things that are more ergonomic. Now the things I'm going to recommend here are pretty cheap and I got them all off of Amazon. And I'm going to put the links in the description of this video for you. These are all links that I get a very small kickback for. But honestly there's a lot of things that are very similar to this. So find the things that work best for you. So uh, number one on my list of things you must have for your desk is a second monitor. Like hands down the best thing ever. I guarantee you try it, you'll never go back. And a lot of people ask me how am I using the second monitor. What I'm doing is putting like a video or a textbook or whatever I'm reading on the big monitor and then I'm putting my class notes or my Anki cards or whatever on this other monitor so that I can be doing both at the same time and it actually increases my efficiency, makes things go quite a bit smoother. So I would Highly recommend that. The one I bought is the cheapest HD one on Amazon and I also have this arm. You can see I can kind of like move this in and out. You can actually flip it to vertical if you want. Um, a lot of cool things. Absolutely worth it. So that's my number one on my list. Number two, and this goes along with my wrist problem, is getting a good mouse. I want to put a picture on the screen now of all the computer mice that I have been using over the past year or so to try and fix the problem with my wrist. And as you can tell, there's quite a few. It's kind of ridiculous. And my wife jokes about me having a mouse addiction. Uh, but I ended up finally getting this one here that is a trackball. And it's been a huge difference. Um, you'll notice when you use a mouse normally, your wrist is kind of in this funky position. And you can hurt some things. For these, it forces your wrist to be in a position where it's a little more natural and then you're only using the thumb to move things around. And I actually really like this because I can use this on the couch, I can use this in bed, I can put it on my knee, whatever, because all you're doing is moving the thumb around. So that is a huge deal. But even if you're not going to go that far, getting a mouse is a good thing because the trackpads on laptops will eventually end up, you'll do this a lot as you're swiping and then you'll start having similar pains to what I was having. So. Getting a nice computer mouse is a really good first step. Now the second step, kind of along with that, is getting something like this that's a rest that you can put your hands on so that you're not in that position where your hand is elevated and can cause problems. So getting a wrist like this for your keyboard and for your mouse is going to help a lot. So that's what I would recommend for that. Now the next thing is keyboard. Now, I've been using this keyboard, which I think is actually pretty good. Um, it's just a standard keyboard. It's got the number pad over here. It's got a couple Bluetooth things that lets you switch between different devices, and it works okay. Uh, but even with the mouse switch, I was not totally uh, better. And I saw all these advertisements for a company called Expos, which has this fancy keyboard to prevent RSI, or repetitive strain injury, like I had. And I was curious, so I reached out to them and I said, hey, if I do a video reviewing your product, will you send me a free one? And so they did. And here's this keyboard. You can see it's kind of fancy. It's got lots of colors. And it's actually really cool because you can pop these keys off. There's little switches underneath that you can choose. Um, there's different ones that control the sensitivity of whatever. And you can also change the color pattern. You can make it so that when you push different buttons, it does different things and they you can set macros to it. It's all sorts of things. But the main goal behind this computer, this, this keyboard was that it's, it's laid out so that your wrists never have to bend outwards and cause that pain. Now, I'm going to be honest. Day one, I got this and I started using it and literally I told Blake, who's another one of the members on our Onking team, I was like, I think I'm going to have to send this back because I hate it so much. 
Uh, but they say on their website, you got to give it at least a few days to get used to the new pattern because your backspace button's over here, your enter button's here and everything so that you're never having to move outwards. Well, I gave it a few days and I got to report this is a huge deal. It, it made a big difference in my wrist. They finally started doing better and I've actually found that having everything here in the middle where I can type faster uh, because of it. Anyway, so this is a company called Expos. Uh, and their keyboards are extremely high quality. This is solid metal down here. Um, and I would actually recommend that if you're having some repetitive strain injury problems or you're using your computer a lot, definitely check them out. And they actually gave me a 10% off code that I'll put in the description of this video. So awesome computer or a keyboard. It was actually designed by a physician with us in mind, um, understanding the anatomic stuff. So that's what I'd recommend for keyboards. The next thing I want to recommend, if you're an Anki user, absolutely get a controller. And a lot of people don't believe me. They think they're just fine using the space bar. I did that and I did thousands and thousands of flashcards my first year of medical school. And I finally started having some pain from pushing the space bar all the time. Getting a game controller and hooking that up to Anki makes a huge difference. And what I would recommend in that regard is watch our video on hooking up a controller to Anki. And I'll put a link in the description for our entire like Amazon recommended list. There's multiple controllers on there that I've, either I've personally used or somebody has told me about and said that they work really well for Anki. You can get one like this that's just a PS4 controller, Xbox controller, or they have little ones that are just one-handed controllers that are super nice. Uh, lastly, the things I'd recommend is you can see I've got like a desk pad. I actually think that's really nice to just soften things. I have a wooden desk and so that uh, is a little bit harder on your wrists as you're resting on them all day. Having something to soften that up is, is really nice. And I've also got uh, my laptop you can tell is kind of up on this stand just to match it with the second monitor. So there's other little things like that that are in this list if you want to check them out. But the whole goal is to get your arms in a comfortable position so that you're not bending out in unnatural ways and doing repetitive things over and over and over again. That's what's ultimately going to cause you harm. And I think that the mouse that I have, these guards or the pads here for my wrists, having this nice exposed keyboard, all of those things make a huge difference and have really helped me. So if you're using the computer a lot, check all of these out. For those of you that watched up to this point in the video, thank you. I really appreciate all of your support. Please hit the subscribe button if you like what we're doing and hit the little bell so that you get notified when we put out new videos. We'll keep them coming. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at On King Med. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, onkingmed.com, for more tips and tricks.